What's going on, guys? I am Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. Hope you guys enjoyed your beautiful Thursday we had yesterday. Low humidity, not too hot, not too cold. It was a perfect day outside, at least in my opinion it was. Uh, but that's going to change as we head into tonight and into Saturday. We have an SPC risk in place for the entire lower peninsula of Michigan. It's in a level one, we call a marginal risk on a scale of five. It's the lowest risk we have here. Um, on the scale. So the entire lower part of Michigan and also the very extreme part of the UP by Sault Ste. Marie. So Chippewa County, Mackinac County is getting in on that as well. The hazards tomorrow are going to be for damaging winds for the exact same area statewide, not statewide, lower peninsula wide, as well as the eastern UP. And then also the hail risk identical to that, just trimmed just a bit, uh, but it still encompasses the entire lower part of Michigan and also eastern UP as well. There is a 2% tornado risk down here in southeast lower Michigan, places like Port Huron, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Adrian, Hillsdale, Monroe. Those areas are going to be most concerned for a tornado or two possible. Okay. Now, looking at the models and the analysis breakdown, timing, all that jazz, jumping into the model right now. Looking at a few things here, we see Michigan, the lower part of Michigan right here on this map. We're going to focus on lower Michigan because the risk is pretty much uh, only going to be for lower Michigan. Looking at how this is going to play out, we're going to be looking at today first. This is this afternoon. Don't be shocked if you get some rain this afternoon, especially toward the evening hours as a more pronounced shower and perhaps storm activity moves into the area. This is at 11 p.m. tonight. We're looking at a pretty good uh, blob of rain crossing Lake Michigan. Arrives over there in West Michigan overnight tonight. It's going to be raining. That's going to be waking up to rain here in Michigan roughly 7, 8 a.m. We have some scattered rain, especially in southeast Michigan, still around with scattered showers behind that. Uh, as we move into the late morning hours, those showers should, should subside leaving us just with uh, dry conditions, but then that is when our attention turns back to the west. A cold front is swinging through here. That cold front will be the trigger and source of lift to get storms potentially up and going. Now, there's going to be one big caveat with this forecast. Go ahead and run this through the time frame first. We'll go ahead and jump into the cloud cover. All right. This is at 3 p.m. Notice off to the west, we have cells developing across Wisconsin. Those continue to develop, but they don't really organize very well. They push toward Traverse City, uh, Odekama areas up there, pushing southeastward toward West Branch, what, uh, Mount Pleasant, West Branch, and as well as into the thumb near Caseville, Port Austin as well, before pushing across over Lake Huron. So not much showing on this model for right now that could change. Why is that? That's probably because of one main factor. All right. Cloud cover map with the white indicating clouds and black is clear skies. It's going to be a huge factor for tomorrow's forecast. Looking at Saturday afternoon after that big old blob of rain moves out, this is at noon tomorrow. Notice how the entire lower part of Michigan is encompassed in cloud cover. Now, why is that important, you might ask? Some of you may know this. Cloud cover does not usually... There are some cases that it it can, uh, it can happen, but usually with cloud cover in place, that does not allow the sun to come out and heat the atmosphere. When we heat the atmosphere, that raises our storm fuel, we call it instability. That's what we're going to be looking for tomorrow afternoon. With the cloud cover here in place, there's going to be very little in the way of destabilization happening for storms to take advantage of. We need the sun if we want severe weather or strong to severe weather, should I say. There are some ways where we can be cloud covered and still build instability. Tomorrow is not going to be one of those days. So the sun is going to be vital to tomorrow's forecast. This model does indicate some broken cloud cover here, perhaps moves in later on. This is 4 p.m. You see, you see the clouds start to uh, dissipate just a bit. But as we get toward 5 and 6 o'clock, we are just looking at mostly clear skies, perhaps with high, uh, high clouds in there uh, filling in, but still we have probably a one or two hour window here, uh, perhaps destabilization. Will that be enough? Probably not enough for widespread or scattered severe weather, perhaps for isolated, perhaps those storms in the model here showing toward that Traverse City area, those may have something to work with, but overall we're not seeing significant destabilization in the, in the realm of possibility here, at least for right now as of the making of this video. That can change quickly with model runs, uh, but right now that's going to be the biggest limiting factor is that cloud cover. We need the sun to come out to have a better shot at severe weather. Now that does 
clear out for a few hours here. We, pre we may destabilize as we head toward the uh, sunset time frame. But at that point, when the sun angle goes down, it's not as efficient as it was during the afternoon, peak heating, stuff like that. Um, so a lot of stuff working against this overall risk. Now, looking at, again, back to the models, the, the uh, simulated radar potential, uh, looking at the time frame for this. So that morning line of showers and storms works its way out of the state by roughly 10 a.m. And again, behind that to the west, scattered showers are possible. But the main time frame to watch for severe weather is going to be a little bit later on in the afternoon and evening. This is going to be about 5 p.m. or so. It would be the time frame to start watching. Go ahead and say 4 p.m. just to give us some leeway. So 4 p.m. at your earliest up there in west, perhaps northwestern lower Michigan. And then that should cold front moves, moves through the state there, clearing the state roughly by 11 or midnight so the time frame to watch tomorrow is going to be 4 p.m uh, to midnight and there should be a gap of dryness between that morning shower and storm activity and this approaching cold front from the west okay so if you guys have plans tomorrow afternoon the best time frame to probably get those plans in would probably be from, be from noon to roughly 4 p.m or so uh, perhaps a little bit shorter window or perhaps a wider window, depending on the exact location in Michigan. Uh, but their general early afternoon time frame should be the time frame to get your outdoor stuff done. OK, now I'm not going to say it's going to be dry because as we're looking here, the models do indicate some scattered showers remain up here in northern lower, especially. But some shower activity down here in southern lower doesn't look as extensive down in southern lower. Uh, but just keep in mind, a passing shower after that morning line works through perhaps is in play there. So keep an eye on the radar and your forecast if you have plans tomorrow afternoon. But that severe threat should be centered between 4 p.m. and midnight. Okay. So once again, SPC does have that marginal risk in place for the entire part of lower Michigan, as well as the extreme eastern part of the UP. Main time frame to watch, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Hazards, damaging wind should be primary. Large hail should become a secondary threat. You cannot rule a tornado out in southeast lower given we have good wind shear tomorrow with our everything with our slim we call it shear lift instability moisture our four ingredients we have our shear it's pretty good shear tomorrow we'd have our lift with the cold front is it enough lift that's the big question our instability is in question as we just talked about with cloud cover so that's gonna be the main thing to watch and our moisture is sufficient tomorrow uh, for severe weather so the main thing to watch is going to be how well we destabilize in the afternoon and evening hours Less cloud cover means more instability. More cloud cover hinders that severe threat in general. Okay. You guys have an awesome day. I will hop on here tonight with Joel at 7 p.m. on Friday for a live briefing of this severe threat. Feel free to join us here on YouTube and also on Facebook as well. Enjoy your Saturday or enjoy your Friday, should I say. Uh, it should be a nice day all around, perhaps a shower passing as well.